Here I am standing in my beautiful garden and I want to introduce you to one of my favorite, favorite plants. It's the Dahlia imperialis, otherwise known as the Dahlia tree or the giant Dahlia. The thing about the Dahlia imperialis is that it grows to such heights. I mean, it goes up to about three meters and even higher, depending. But the beauty is the flower. Look at that. Lovely lilac flowers with a lovely orange in the center. It's a bee pollinator and you get so many bees. So if you do have a hive, this is the perfect plant. The other thing about this dahlia is look at all these little buds. And soon, as everything starts flowering, this will be a lilac bush. My name is Alice and I'm the Red Soil Gardener. Now the beauty about this dahlia is if you look, I've just taken a shoot and I want to show you something. Look at how many buds you get in a side stem. Already there's about five, so you can imagine what it looks like when it's all in full bloom. If you notice is that the leaves always take place opposite each other and in between the leaf, if you look, as in here, that's where the buds are going to sprout out. So you can imagine how dramatic this plant will be because this is just one stem. This is a smaller plant because it's just started, but it does get even bigger leaves and it depends on the situation of the plant. If it's at the end of the garden with enough full sun, you may even get a leaf that is much bigger so it gives you a lot of foliage. Now the thing about the dahlia tree is as I mentioned before it likes full sun, a well-drained soil and it doesn't like wind especially as it's growing. As it grows the, the stem is quite delicate and with the wind it can actually damage it, break it. But as it matures it does get a stronger stem and it actually looks like a bamboo and this is what I want to show you. What I've done is I've gone into my garden and got my dahlia tree or my giant dahlia and I've uprooted it because first of all I want to show you that this plant has tubers. Now this is just like the ordinary dahlia plant and these are the tubers. Look how big they are and as they grow what you do get is like here is a baby coming up from the tuber. Now this will shoot up and it will leaf and it will branch out and be another stalk. But that's how it happens. Now this is why they say that this dahlia plant actually has a trunk or a stem that looks like a bamboo. Because basically, if I can show you this, is it's hollow inside. I've just taken this, but it's hollow inside. It drinks a lot of water. It looks like a bamboo. If I want to propagate this plant, like all dahlias, I can use the tubers and just cut individually because out of that I can get my babies. The other thing I can do is actually plant this whole thing, maybe take a few tubers out and plant it. And again, like as we saw here, I will still get a shooting. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to chop some of these tubers because that's what I'm going to use and plant them in the ground so that they can multiply. So basically I am just going to snip these things off and um, that's what we're going to plant also. This big one. Here we go. Here I am. I've got my tubers which I'm going to put in the soil and they will grow. I'm left with this trunk of the dahlia tree but I can actually even just clean it up or you know cut a few of these roots, clean it up and then still put it in the garden and it will grow. This is one method of propagation. Now the other method of propagation is through its trunk or the major stem of the tree. Now what you do is you take the trunk and cut it up into at least have two nodes 
on the stem. Now these have to be the mature bits of the dahlia tree because as the dahlia tree grows is the base gets harder but the new stem as it shoots up is quite soft and delicate so what you need is the base which is these hardy things which look like bamboos you have two ways of growing this one way is actually make sure that this node is in the soil so I would actually plonk this in here, make sure it's in the right position, pointing upwards, but not upside down. I'm gonna put it here, and there you go. So I'm gonna do the same with this one, make sure that the node goes in the soil, and that's where the rooting and the new shoot will come from. So I'm gonna plonk another one, and we can follow that on Instagram. I'm going to show you my method of actually growing my tree dahlia in order that uh, I'm talking about if you want it uh, to have many of those tree dahlias in a large area. What I normally do, as I mentioned, is I take this trunk or the stem, I make it slightly longer and I, I put it in the soil and I will get shooting from every single node. In this case, I have three shooting from a stem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here and I'm going to pull it out. So this is what you will get. This unfortunately fell off one. I can still repot it. It's just that the f it's gone all nice and soft. So basically, all this, I think it's just cracked, is if I plant it, that's the sort of thing I'm going to get from each node planted horizontally. And that could cover quite a nice big area. But with these babies that have fallen off, I'm still going to plant them because they're already making their own rhizomes, as you can see here. And that is plantable. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take these babies and put them back in the soil because we don't want them to lose a lot of moisture and then they start wilting. And then with this other baby that is still stuck on the trunk, as seen here, I'm going to put it back in the soil until I'm ready to start planting it, maybe tomorrow or the next day, because I don't want it to lose that moisture. It's very difficult to grab with these. <laughs> So there you are with this beautiful dahlia tree and I think you give it a shot because first thing in, in Kenya we're 1800 meters above and this is a sort of perfect environment for the dahlia tree because they are sort of um, South American, Mexican, Colombian and they do grow up in the mountains along the rivers along the rivers and i think this climate is perfect so start introducing it in your garden so fellow gardeners thank you for joining me on my channel and good luck with your tree dahlia don't forget to like and to share and press that notification button and subscribe to my channel we're on instagram so for any questions please do ask me i love sharing with you i learn a lot and also you know, if you have some other tips, do let me know. Thank you so much and happy gardening.